you ever heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we got one of the geoglyphs done, and with it, we got the Show of Fealty Memory. Now, I want to do more geoglyphs, but I think for right now, it might be a bit of a better idea to focus on something like the Mystery in the Depths, which is where, of course, we need to talk to Joshua. We need to go to a temple-like building that's the focal point of the mural down there. I don't know. It seems pretty crazy, so we need to start figuring some of that out, especially since I should be able to find more things there. A lot of you let me know um, when it comes to growing like my battery um, capability, so I think we'll just talk to Joshua over this way and at least try to make some progress with this. So if we talk to Joshua, what will she really give us in terms of guidance? So, remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among things the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Beast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows there, there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed toward the next one in the series until it ends with a last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. So to collect my thoughts on all this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. I heard something about a potential sighting of Princess Zelda at the castle, but I need to stay focused on my search or research into the depths. That's where I'm sure we will find a real clue about what's happened to the princess. And honestly, I'm now that I'm hearing it put that way, we're also looking for the fifth sage. Could that be in the depths as well? So we have like multiple entryways to the depths and that's where I feel like I need to start hopping into some of those. Obviously we've hopped into this one right here for the like first opening quest. We can try that again now just to sort of get a look around and maybe reach out to some new areas we didn't before because I don't really know what we'll be able to accomplish in today's episode, but I figure we need to get a better idea of the depths. We've really only been down there once or twice, once for the original part of this quest and then another time for the fire temple so if we could go back to the depths now explore a little bit more just sort of understand how this whole area works i think that's the best case scenario okay we're at the entryway of the depths i also see these birds up here that's a mountain crow okay i've gotten a photo of it good to know i don't think there's really anything too much new happening here we've talked to a lot of the people around this way but we can go into the hyrule field chasm and just sort of start looking around if not anything else i'm sure we'll find some interesting stuff we have a lot of the uh the seeds now too, but like what happens if I go maybe like over here? I feel like honestly, it's quite bright in here right now because of those, some of the things that we found. So Mystery in the Depths, that's sort of telling me about up there. So I don't know if it's really worth having it tracked at the moment. You can tell that there's a lot of stuff that we just can't see as well. But you can see that there's one over there. So I think that's just sort of what we have to focus on is just getting the different things like that. So we'll try to get under that way a little bit and we'll see what we can end up finding. Hopefully some good stuff. That's where we started before. But it's pretty crazy down here. Very stressful for sure. I'm sure we're gonna find lots of other monsters, maybe some other unique things to this area too. Oh, and we need to find more of the Poe and there's plenty of it. I really haven't brought too much Poe to that guy, but maybe we can get a big collection of it here. What is that? Oh, it's one of these soldiers. We've seen this before. Wait, can I get a picture of it? I don't know if I have. I'm already maxed out on my zoom. I don't think it's something I'm supposed to fight. It's just something that gives me a weapon. So I can head up here and grab it real quick. And this time we get a, uh... oh, it's a new sword. Okay, it's a brand new sword. This is the soldier's broadsword. And as you can see, it is not affected by the, um, the decay. That's so cool. So a soldier's broadsword with a little sparkly, a sword brandished by soldiers who once protected Hyrule Castle. Its blade is well tuned for slaying monsters as it enables quicker charge attacks. That's cool. We don't have the inventory space for it right now, but I can change it real quick. I'm just gonna toss the Gerudo spear and then pick that up. I'm so excited for that. So we got like an, a non-decayed weapon, which is really uncommon for this game. So let's pick up as much Poe as we can find. Cause there is Poe all over the place. And it's crazy how this whole area is still sort of lit up from the one thing we found. Oh, uh, that just counts as a stone pebble, which is crazy. 
These are not technically new enemies at all, but I can still do that, and then I can just pick it up and give it a toss. Please don't hit it, thank you. Whoa, we got some uh, Zonite out of that, and some Amber. The amber's not too surprising. I wonder if we can find Korok seeds down here too. Ooh, and there's more weapons up here. What is that? That's another one, so maybe, do I, I don't have any more pins, so I'll have to leave it for now, and what about this thing? That's just a mass of evil. I have no clue. Um, we'll climb up here for the time being though and find, like I said, another new weapon. This is the Soldier Spear Sparkle. <laughs> that's what I'm just gonna call it though because that's a little sparkly. Uh, pick this up, the Soldier Spear Sparkle, a long spear once used by the guards of Hyrule Castle. Easy to use but difficult to master, enables quicker charge attacks. I really want these, so if I could just find more space for them. Um, even if I do need to toss some powerful stuff, we can always get it back. You know what I mean? We can always get more Brutus stuff, but this is where it gets really dark and where I should probably not throw that stuff, but instead I have like a billion Bright Bloom seeds. Um, if I still uh, filter this by most used, here they are. And I can even throw some of the giant ones too. Yeah. Boom, really light this place up, get a bunch of pill out of it. And we also got some more of the plant life over here. And who knows if I'm going the right way. We got the muddle bud right there. I don't know if I've got a picture of the muddle bud actually, so I should probably look again next time. What's up there? I think that's just more Pow. It can be a little bit hard to tell from a distance sometimes, but we're finding more of these little statues with weapons being held. Okay, the muddle butt I do have pictures of. What's over that way? Just like little hints of something in the distance over and over again. I can only hope I'm going the right direction. It's easy to get lost too, is another crazy thing. Yeah, I wanted to get to this purple one, I think. I hope. Okay, hold on, let's get out of crouch. Okay, do I have to back up? It's really hard to see what's going on over here, which probably means I need to put down another one. But in the meantime, let's fuse these together for quite the impressive little uh, spear there. And then we will throw another right bloom seed like that. Should probably throw out a good couple more of those, but what is this? It's a stone talus, whoa, okay. An underground stone talus fight is coming up then. Oh, there it is. It's really hard to see it, but it's right there. Uh oh, um, I might just try to keep hitting it for now. Gotcha. We did pretty good there. Wait, hold on a sec. Uh, right back at you. And then I think I'll change to maybe a stronger weapon here. Even the rare Sir Tal Talus Hammer would be great. Here, ready? Boom, 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 and gotcha. All right, really powerful, really cool. We dealt with that guy quite quickly. And we get some goodies out of it. We got the large crystallized charge, a large piece of zonite crystal made by condensing zonite charges produced or processed by from pro, prior, processed from zonite, equal to 20 normal crystallized charges. That's actually huge. Happy to get that one for sure. I gotta be careful when grabbing this amber. I'm gonna get the gunk on me, but I got off really soon, so it's okay. Is there any weapons I can combine with this? I think there is. Yeah, this. So I might as well, because it adds good 13 plus damage. Is nice. And then we will throw, not this, but another Bright Bloom Seed. Just left out, you can see we're getting closer. That's exciting. And then what do we have over here? This is the uh, the Puff Shroom, which I had not pictured until now. Cool, we've picked up the Puff Shroom before. It's not something we're entirely unfamiliar with, but just haven't done too much with it. So I would like to get out of crouch mode, there we go, <laughs> and get up here. There is another soldier spear. I can't quite hold it though, so I might just leave it. We'll use an arrow real quick, just so I can light the way over here. These trees go pretty high up. Finding a lot more of these muddle butts. I haven't really used these for combat too much lately, but I should definitely try to do that soon. We got a lot of Poe. I gotta remember to bring that back later on. Once again, I will toss another one way over there. Just lighting up more. Whoa, it looks like we're at the wall of one of them. But the more of those that we reach, oh hey. Oh, whoa, wait a minute, they got the horse. The horse is new. Um, I don't know if that counted as a picture, but it was such a cool picture. Stall horse, nice. Oh no, scary. Got you, ooh, that was a beautiful shot. All right, well the stall horse is running off. I don't know if we can actually defeat the stall horse. It doesn't have a health bar, so maybe not. All right, well, we got the pebbles and everything else moving in, so if you don't mind, uh, not doing that, please. 
Here, can we get some help from somebody else? Here, I will slice you away. That's pretty good. Where are all of my friends? <laughs> come here. Don't run, don't run. There you go. No, come on, that's not what I wanted. Oh my gosh. Here, I'm just gonna smack you like that. That'll get rid of you pretty easily. We still have more of them that we're fighting over here. Got it. There's just enemies all over the place, huh? We'll get the Bokoblin pieces. Don't know if I need too much more beyond that. And then you over this way, I think same deal. We will just go boom, boom. Gotcha. Get the Zonite for it. And then way over here, I think I can jump and slam on you. Got it. Really great stuff, actually. We're getting closer to the big thing over there. Whatever they're called. But what's going on with this platform? Ooh, we have a bunch of Zonite stuff. Or Zonite devices. Hmm. Do I want to, you know, start traveling like that right now? I'm not sure. But I will launch one of those over just to sort of light things up. I mean, we're getting pretty close to what we're trying to get to. There are some enemies over here. Nothing new, of course. Actually, all pretty easy to defeat enemies. Oh, come on. It would be if I could aim. Almost gotcha. Oh, so you have some armor over there. But you do not. Oh, no, you do. You do. Okay. You know what, then? Let's deal with you some other way. This is probably a little wasteful, but there we go. No more armor. And then once we get over there, ooh, we get a bomb flower out of that. So I use the bomb flower, I get a bomb flower. And then I will fight you a little bit. Because I think these are all just red Pokeballs. Like this area has not gotten any more difficult compared to you know some other stuff, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Okay. They don't even know yet, so we can knock them out. Uh, I guess we're doing that now. Not really what I meant to do. Oh wait, not, do not throw that. Instead, throw this. Much better. And there's a huge bunch of Poe over here. So I will grab all of these. We're now over 150 of them. And then I see you over there. Ooh, look at all the, the spoils we can find over here from knocking out that one guy. Pretty nice. And then we'll just head up like this. See, we're just sort of exploring the depths today. Like that's the sort of the whole thing. Um, I'm having fun with it. It's a very cool area for sure. Ooh, and this stuff's gonna be nice. So I guess I'll just break it open like this. I don't really have too much other things to break things open with right now. I don't think. Yeah, not too many like bashing style weapons. So I think we should just keep with this stuff. It's one of our, it's our weaker set of weapons right now anyways. Ooh. Actually, that's explosive over there, so please be careful. But I'll get that stuff. Why over here? Because I, at the least, oh no. I can get more of the Pokemon Horns, Zonite. Get it this way. Or not, come on. There we go. I don't know if there's really too much more for us to find here. There is a chest. So I'll grab that and probably just leave. Got it. Glad that explosive barrel did not do it, its thing, which is to explode. We got giant bird bloom seeds times five. That's great, but I do have plenty. Ooh, wait a minute. These always have this golden shimmer to them that makes me very excited, but they typically just drop Zonite, right? Yeah, that one was just Zonite. A little bit more. I keep missing. There we go. Yeah, it's just Zonite, really. But I do have a faster charge with, oh wow, I really do have a faster charge with that. That's really nice. Okay, that's all I'm gonna get from that. We will um, try to get across to there. That's where we could build that vehicle. So, you know what? Yeah, let's, I don't know, we're so close though. I'd rather just walk it for now. But I'm guessing there'll probably be a lot of those to clear out. So maybe it is something we should try to be a little bit more efficient with over time. But the depth is just such a crazy area to me. So I was not expecting this in the game at all. So. Yeah. The fact that we have like this whole open area to explore in that way. What are those? No, wait, what? Have we seen those guys? I think we have. Very uncommon enemies out, right? Oh no, oh, I'm just in the gunk. Get me out of there. You have the little frocks. Is there a big frocks, you know? I don't know. We've really not seen these enemies very much. They do drop uh, bright bloom seeds and stuff, but none of their own monster parts are so odd because you can only find them down here so far. I mean, most enemies that we've run into, except for like horror blends and stuff, and like boss book blends, beyond that, a lot of the enemies are just, you know, return enemies from the previous game. So, whenever we just see new enemies, it's still pretty crazy to get used to. 
And I think we will... Uh, that hurts? Okay. I thought the root was maybe safe, but I guess not. I'll toss some more over here. I'm gonna try to avoid the keys a little bit, because we're getting a lot closer. But there's still a lot more to get to. Toss another one way out here. Ooh, get some bomb flowers. Don't mind if I do. I think we're getting far enough that I can jump over that really quickly. I think from here we could probably just glide over, maybe. With two ones out. Ooh, what do we got over here? It looks like it's another spear. Which I don't really have the space for. No, this is a traveler spear sparkle. A spear used mainly by travelers to fend off wolves and other beasts. It's easily or it's easy to hold and simple to use. So let's actually get a picture of it. Like this. Traveler spear. <laughs> Crazy picture just looks like it's floating. Cool. So I guess that really is gonna boost the amount of things we gotta take pictures of. Back over here though. We're getting closer. I will just jump backwards like this. I really want that bomb flower though. Got it? Got it, okay. So if we lost any health, we should be able to get it back just over here. I don't wanna use any of my bird bloom seeds here because we're about to reach the Oyamai light root. Very cool. So our first light root of the day. And I haven't really found any of the uh, statues or anything like that. I figured that once we explore the depths a bit more, we'll be able to sort of get there sooner or later. I don't know. I feel like right now it's just all about exploring the depths. There we go. That's another one. And they, these will just really light things up a whole bunch. Looking good. Ooh. So with that done, we can see a little bit more information on our sheet. Not sheet of sleep, but pura pad. Uh, about where we can go. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Still plenty more left to find though. But our health comes back to some degree. Ooh, and there's some more of these uh, horses, which is cool. So, like I said before, my goal right now would be to just look for more. I guess I could get on top of these. Ooh, is it too? Okay, it was too uh, high up, I think. But this, not so much. We just have to move over. And here we are. Ooh, bomb flower up here for free. Nice. And this is just a good vantage point to maybe see where I can go next. Still sort of hard to make out, but this is where we were before. Yeah, last location, huh. I don't really know what it means by that. I guess maybe the last time I was here? Weird. But at least I can go off this way. The tool in the push is a little bit more. I wanna stay on top of this stuff if possible. Because unlike, you know, the overworld, there isn't really too much of a chance of discovery in the same way. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe it's a dead end from here. Is that the idea? I mean, you can see more stuff, but I don't think we can reach that. Not from here. So maybe there's this like diff different entire caves that we can't like really get access from from one side to the other in that way. It's a bit concerning for right now because I just really don't see another one. Uh, I will fly over this way. There's another spear here. But I think it's more of a wall again. Is this another traveler spear? Yep. Oh, okay. Not what I intended, but ooh, right over there. So let's grab a big bunch of Poe. Got it. And head over to that way. I mean, we haven't been given like a total count on how many of the the uh, light roots there are to find. But hopefully with each one, you know, we're making a little bit of a dent. Here, I'll toss that there. Whoa, okay. You know what, this time I'm gonna build something. Just because I think getting around faster now might be a little bit more important. Important. All right, so I wanted to try these beam emitters too, because I'm just really curious about th these. Is it like this? Oh, it is like that, it is like that, turn it off. Okay, good to know. Um, I'll put this right here. That means it's gonna soak up battery so fast though. I'm a little concerned about that. Um, I will though, however, put one of these 
I mean, I probably don't want to do that one. Maybe I'll do two of these, just so that we can get around a little bit more easily. Put this here, put that here. And hopefully we can just get going with this. We're stuck. <laughs> okay, not a good start. Get over here. And now can we move? Here we go. So if any enemies try to get near us, we should be able to really damage them. These batteries get used up fast though, that's for sure. Maybe the batteries weren't really worth it too much because they'll just get used up and they'll just be done. But, you know, we can just roll around like this, have some fun, run into some stumps every once in a while, but we'll get through it. I guess that's sort of the downside to having a faster vehicle is that the train it goes over isn't as diverse as like if we get the big wheel. So we just gotta hit this with a lot of speed if we wanna hope to get over it. Or I could just pick it up. <laughs> Do it the old fashioned way. I mean, we're almost there. We could just put this over here. Yep. And then just go and grab another light route. This is a Sino Noik light route. Cool. Glad to have that one. And with this, of course, the depths are a little bit more visible. They're not as dark. That's great. But honestly, I haven't seen any of those statues that we're supposed to be able to find. That's been a bit concerning, but the depths is huge. There's plenty of places for them to be. And taking a look, of course, more of the map is cleared out. And that's where we were before. Whoa, maybe that's the big connector area over there. Though it would just dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. Now I'm really curious to see what that's about. And we're feeling good. So, yeah, it was over here. What is this? Uh, I'll do that right over that way. So, what happened to my car? It was right over here. Was it? Oh yeah, right over this way. Okay, so, already in sort of a good position. We just need to turn it around. Put it about here and get back to riding. I think, <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's an entrance or anything, right? Is there? This is really odd. What is all that? Is it even deeper in the depths? You know, I don't know. Could that be the temple that we're looking for? Certainly could be, okay. <laughs> Trying to get out of this little traffic jam over this way. This is not going, so I'm just gonna have to let this cool off for a second. But I don't really see. Oh, up there, okay. Is this enough? I gotta just wait for it to all the way come back. It's sort of a shame. <laughs> just to stay here for now, just wiggle it around. Okay, back it up. Man, it uses battery fast. I gotta get rid of the lasers. I think the lasers are a little too much. We can leave it there for now, because I'm really curious about this, so. Watch out for the gloom. But if we just jump up a couple of times, and then, boom, we got it. And where was it? A little higher up, I think? I don't know. Hard to tell now that I'm climbing. Or maybe it was, was it just here? Did I fool myself? I don't know. Um, I think that was the case. I think I might have fooled myself. I thought there might have been more to this. But now I'm certainly not seeing anything over there, so. Yeah, I guess there isn't much. Sort of a letdown. Oh no, I should uh go this way. Yep, okay, ugh. Gross. Uh, I'm gonna remove the lasers because they just use too much battery. And we will try to get out of here. We're pretty stuck. Oh, drew over the, over the tree. So I don't know what in the world this deal is. It might be the fire temple. Like maybe that's what I'm looking at. Is this just the fire temple? But you think the fire temple, we ran into the fire temple. That was this. So there's no way that's the fire temple. Right? The fire temple entrance, there's no way. That's the fire temple. So that's just something different altogether. I have no clue. But I am curious. Okay, this, I'm not really a fan of this vehicle anymore. I thought this is killing more time than it is saving me time, you know? Okay, there we go. Just gotta be really careful where we drive it. I mean really careful, because we can't even go up a slight hill. I guess we should get the bigger wheels. If we run across another little building station, I'll replace the wheels out, but Right now, I'm sort of stuck with these ones, so get back on it. 
try to drive through here. It's, it's really slippery around here too, oh my goodness. All right, heading up here, maybe. <laughs> the slightest little bump is just too much. But like, we're not too far off from you know, the last light route we just got. There's gotta be some good stuff over here. I'm seeing a lot of enemies over here. Boom, I got one of them real good right there. I can knock you out. And you, oh, almost. Actually, I think it got them, just not too much. See, this is where I get a little scared because I'm using up a lot of arrows too and I'm not really getting too many back. Okay, that's a, a black moblin, I think. We will just, whoa, did you just throw your friend at me? No way you just did that. You did just do that. Wow, that's funny, but also very dangerous. Okay, we'll grab some of this stuff for sure. That is so much zonite. Um, then I wanna grab Yanobo to break this stuff open. It does send it all flying, unfortunately, so that's not super productive, but I mean, it's something. I'll break this one too, just for a little bit more. But you know, how much zonite do I need? I have almost 300 of it, you know? It's nice to have, but do I really need that many? And what is this way? You know, this is where I'm, once again, really curious. What if I just, I'm gonna launch an arrow way over that. There, ooh, it sort of fell deeper. Whoa, the depths do go deeper, sort of. Uh, Not much down there, but it does go deeper. Wasn't wrong on that. <laughs> that is so odd. And they do go down here. But once again, it feels like, I mean, that's sort of the whole thing about this area. Is it supposed to be desolate in that way? But it really is desolate. I'm gonna leave my car where it was because I just don't think I can get too much more of a use out of it anyways. Finding more encampments of enemies, but not any more signs of a bright bloom or light root. I mean, there's that one that, oh, I haven't found that one. Over there, right? No, 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 I have. Never mind. okay. Uh, Can I remove that pin then? No, there, delete pin. It didn't look so bright, but now this one looks really bright, but we haven't gotten it. So <laughs> I guess that's my next focus. There's a lot of gunk around here. I might be in trouble, actually. I might be in real trouble. Uh, let's see if that's really the case. No, I'm fine. I can, I'm fine. I can just, uh, come on. I was barely in that one. Yeah, I thought so. Is there anything down there? Once again, I don't think so. A lot of stuff over there, so it's really hard to say, but this will be our third light route. At this point, I'm not even gonna bother with the enemies too much, like, they, they drop stuff, of course, but anything I really need, I don't think so. Ooh, this one goes down, too. All right, let's go ahead and get this one. This is a Godosi light route. So cool that they all have different names, you know? Because between all of the light routes and all the shrines, and all of them having to be different names from all the shrines in the first game. Like that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. So, we should be able to go, you know, here, and have everything nice and lit. Pretty cool. So that'll be a little bit more of the map. All right. And let's see how much of the map that clears up. Cause way over here, ooh, gotcha. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. And you can see there's sort of some kind of ruin area. Or was that right over here? A little bit curious about that. So I think that there might just be different areas, different sort of sections of the depths that we'll just have to access from other points. Um, I think that's really our best hope to actually reaching them. Cause I feel like that's just how it works from how everything is sort of like walled off in a way. And I don't think we could climb way up there. I think that just goes to the surface, like a cave would, if that makes sense. Or at least it would just reach the ceiling is what I'm trying to say. I do see some more of uh, these guys to check out. And also there's some Poe over there. I don't wanna go super far out of my way for the post since there's so much of it everywhere. Oh, there's a little cave. I think. Uh, what is this? The Traveler's Sword. Right down there. Maybe? Really hard to tell. Maybe not. But this is the ruins that I had marked. This is the Gustav Canyon Mine. 
Whoa, wait a minute, it's one of the mines. That's great, so we can go down here and find a treasure chest. Okay, well I was hoping for, you know, like actual mining stuff, you know? A large crystallized charge. Okay, that's great, but I, I thought that maybe we could use our charges in some other way. Maybe we still can. That's a dead end, so not in there. But that was still cool. Just not everything I was hoping for. So I think these are little caves. They just have the zonite charges and nothing else. So where's Inoba? Inoba, you wanna help me out? Boom. Excuse me? Uh, <laughs> no, come on. There we go. And those will hopefully just yeah, say where they are. So cool little sections in there like that. That's always fun to see. Oh, I'll grab all this Poe for sure. So I got this one. All sorts of them. I don't see too much else going on here. What was this area called? The Gustav Canyon Mine. But like, I mean, it's good to find that stuff because I think finding little landmarks like that are also important for 100% completion. Okay, so some more Poe is up this way and this will also be a good way for us to try to find um, some ways around a little bit more. Cause I want to at least, this main section that we're in, if we could really clear it up on the map, that'd be great. So, definitely gonna be able to get over 200 Poe with this one. So we'll definitely talk to that statue again. But if I take a look, it's definitely this way that I wanna try to run off to. That's where we just were. I was like, whoa. Then I remembered, we've just been there. Um, and you can see that some of them, I don't know, is that just a statue over there that's gonna be holding a weapon? You can see that that one has like a little bit of a green flare to it. I'm really curious about that. So leave the other Poe alone. I'll try to get to the top of that tree and see what that is. Is that Poe, is that something else? And oh my goodness, it's a Stonox over there. That's crazy. Uh, we'll definitely have to go fight that, but might not be easy. So let's deal with this first. We should just be able to land on the tree part over here, climb up, we're good. So yeah, see this one, it's different. Can we take a picture? Uh, my album is full, so let me just delete a few. Delete, sure. No. What is it? The large Poe, a glowing spear orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for rewards. They seem to possess great power. Cool. So that's the one I've already uh, dealt with, I think. Yep. So we're trying to head, not that way, but this way where the big scary Sonox was, but ooh. Okay, it's another place I can build. I don't know, I'll, I'll stick to what I'm doing. Cause that's where I just came from. So much Poe over there. I sort of want to fight this guy. I think we could take him. So cool though. Oh, so intimidating. Uh, and I think that'll just count as a picture of a Stonox, yeah. All right, here I come. Hey, big guy. What's my like strongest bow right now? I probably want something a little bit better than this, right? I mean, maybe I'll just give it one good shot. There we go, you're not gonna like that one too much. He's gonna fall right over. But he's holding his eye, I should probably swing at him. Um, uh, Let's just use the soldier spear spear for right now. Keep a good, healthy distance. Go to jab at you. And then as soon as you try to go for me, right, I can maybe uh, switch my bow again. I think I'll switch to Maybe just some of the weaker stuff for now. Oh, Tulin got it instead this time. Okay, and we'll just keep going on here with this. It's a weaker weapon for sure, but rather save the strong weapons for the stronger enemies. No offense to this guy, but we can just we can handle it pretty well. So there is that. We broke. Oh, whoa! Look at my timing. It was really good, but then they hit me somehow. I think just the the stuff fell apart. That was really weird. Um, come on. Ah, I don't know what happened. That was really odd. Oh no. Back to being in trouble. Am I walking over the gloom? I'm walking over the gloom. Uh, maybe this will be harder than I thought. Gotcha. So we need to attack the eye with a little bit more power this time, so we'll use this. Come on, come on. A little bit more. I need to hit it away from them. There we go, we gotcha. Scary. Let's see what you drop. It looks like Royal Halberd. Stonox Horn is always really nice to have. Another one of those large crystallized charges is really, really great. And I think I'll go ahead and combine this with one of those again. Just like that, ooh, the power. Where are we trying to get to now? 
is the question. As we get away from the uh, the light shed by that one. Oh my goodness. Is that evil, evil little choo-choo over there? It's sort of cute. It might not be so cute when it's electrocuting me, but uh, it will be electric cute. <laughs> All right, well, there's my quota for bad jokes of the day. Um, Let's grab some of this. And I think, yeah, we're right against this little wall. Huh, electric keys, electric choo-choos. Get you a little bit, one more time, one more time. Don't you dare, ooh, get me in trouble. Okay, I have a lot of distance I can keep on them. Oh, we even have the, uh... ooh, that was good, sort of. Okay, that one seems a lot tougher. Hard to tell what kind of creatures they are at the moment. Like, that's a silver one. Oh, I'm in trouble with that then. And that's an electric Lazalfa. So, I do need to be really careful here. We might actually need to pull out some more powerful stuff. Like, uh, I can do the Black Moblin Hammer and really super slam it. Yeah. Like that. And then, you know what? I'm just gonna spin on you. And that's sort of working. Come on, come on, come on. I was honestly hoping for more damage from that. Ooh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> here, let me eat some food or something. Do I even have a lot of food at the moment? And I have this stuff, which... It's something, so I can really refill anyways. Um, I mean, the silver guy's almost defeated. Ow! Please give me a second here. I can't see what I'm bumping up against. Oh no, oh no. Here, got a couple of arrows. Try to back it up and defeat you then. The electric one has more health than I'd prefer. <laughs> Let's see this then. Sapphire Scepter, help me out. Cool. That was pretty good. While it's still frozen, switch to something a little bit more swingable and finish you off. Cool. I don't need the rock hammer just yet, but I can get all this other stuff. Ooh. Music here, so exciting. Gotcha! Isn't that better? I think so. And we still have some more enemies over there, but I can't pick this up. Yeah, I still have all this other stuff. So you, over here, just get them out of here. Wish you could have landed the headshot, because that would have been an immediate takedown. And then I think I'll just throw a big bright bloom seed to see if we can't find the chest from all for all of our troubles here. Because you'd think there'd be something. But who knows? It doesn't look like it. So, we just gotta use this as a vantage point to see where we wanna go next. I think it's over here, but there is just another soldier spear on that one statue over there. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh no, that's where we're coming in from. So let's not get too confused here. Okay. I'm trying to see exactly where everything is, really. This is moving away from everything before. Is it just a wall here? It's hard to tell. Yeah, just a wall here. That's all dark it is, though. You can't even see that there's a wall right in front of you. Pretty scary, actually. I wanted to go up. Here we go. Having this extra height, though, will be quite the advantage. So I want to get up here. This is about the highest we can go at the moment. But I can, at the least, climb up here. I do want to change my gear, by the way. I don't really need the snow boots now, do I? I need this for some extra armor. I will toss this just right on top of me. Because there's even higher I can go over this way. I hope I'm not just like flying over one of the uh, light routes right now. I don't think so. It'd be so hard to tell. But, see we're reaching the top of it here, and this is where I get really curious. Could we just go up from here? If I were to get here. Oh, I'm starting to slide, and I can't, can I not climb this? Like to stand right here? No, you can't, okay. That's fine. Ooh, it is dark, dark. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna chuck one off the side of this. It's still a wall. I'm still just going against the wall here. Huh. There's gotta be one nearby. I would really think so. I can't see a thing over this way. Giant's Grove? Central Hyrule Depths. Uh, right down there? This is Giant's Grove? What makes this Giant's Grove? I mean, yeah, I guess it's just straight ahead. 
Well, that would make a giant's grove. There's a giant over here. Uh, and now it's suddenly so much darker. Don't know why. Uh, do that. There's the big man. I think I'll leave him if I can. Ah, okay, that scared me. We got the Sawdox fighting me too. Uh-oh. I fought one for today, that's enough, right? Oh, get one of these guys if I can. Oh, the trees too. This is a mess, this is a real mess right now. I do not like it, and I still see no sign. Oh gosh, of anything more. There's gotta be a light route around here. I have a feeling there might be one, but that's, I think that's what I'm looking at over here. I'll go like, not like that. Um, but yeah, it has to be that that I'm looking at. I'll keep going around this area. Let's see if I can't find one. Let's do this again. That one didn't add too much light. But over here, like do, ow, a little bit more help. I'm a little bit scared now because we're really starting to run out of available health. Oh no, we're falling. Here, just toss it over. More of a wall. So I'm, like, I'm traveling around the outskirts of it right now. Maybe that's my problem. Why I can't find too much more of it. But I'm sure if we keep going, sooner or later, we'll find some more. There's no way that's all of it. We gotta be able to light up the whole map, I'd imagine. I do see a ton of uh, Poe over here, and I really want that. Okay, that didn't help. All right, come on, go, go, go. I will grab as much of this as I can, but it looks like we're against the wall again. Okay. Maybe we did find it all. Maybe I should just go, let me travel back here, because that's where we're just gonna end up anyways. There might be more of a little path down that way, but with me traveling here, I can at least restore my health back to what it was. Or at least give it the chance to. Okay, back over this way at the Aya Yusa's light route. I'm trying. And that should give me all my health back. While it does. Could eat some simmered tomato. Uh, let me eat this and that. And then I'll eat that once my hearts are back. Just need a four, few more moments. Over there, I see one, right? Definitely, definitely one right over there. So we'll work on getting there. That's exactly what I needed to do, was to stand over here. And you can see some of these are sort of starting the point. I mean, I think. I guess we just sort of go the way they're facing. But I feel like that's just something that would be worth focusing on after we get all the light roots. That way we just won't get lost. Okay, let me go ahead and eat this food. And we're basically back up the floor. Got it, and got it. And I do see another one way off there, so now we're back on track with finding more of them. We're doing it while we're still following these statues, so it feels pretty nice that we're sort of back on the track in that way. I mean, it's good that we went the other way too. I'm seeing them all over the place now. This is really good. But uh, that's what we're focusing on for now. So what might be a good idea is could we uh, just go up here real quick? It would just be faster. I'm sorry. It's a little silly. But uh, I don't want to deal with any more fights today if I don't have to. Don't have too much health at the moment, but we can soar over to this one, honestly, pretty, ow, easily, I hit a tree. <laughs> Hard to miss those when you can't see anything. We should just be able to get up to this. A little bit of a wall to climb. Wait for my stamina to come back, but then, boom, we already have another light route, the Naikayam light route. Very cool. So if we could get sort of the central Hyrule depths completed in today's video, that'd be awesome. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But this is like our fifth light room, our light route today. So that's really cool. I always love that effect, it's so fancy. Cool. So there's that dealt with. So much more visible here too. We can follow those statues to wherever they need to go. Much better. But it really does give the impression that there's more to the left. 
guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, taking a look at the map. Because you can see all this is sort of blocked off. So curious about what this is about and why I can't access it. What is this? The Bargainer statue. Uh, okay. Why do I have that on my map? I don't know. Is that like the first one? Did I make my way out there at some point? I don't think I did, is the thing. Okay, I'm taking a look around, just trying to find our next one, our next destination. Right now it's sort of hard to tell. What is that? What is that? That's a frox? Oh my goodness, it's huge! What? That thing is horrifying. Did that count in my album? It did. Look at how big that guy is. He's coming over here. What do I do? Um, You deal with him, you know, though. I'm out of here. Oh, he's not gonna like that. The scourge of the depths of frogs. Ah, okay, you know what? Fine. Let's deal with you. If I can. I'm scared. Oh, he got you good with that one, though. Oh, and he's got a bunch of stuff on top of him. Come on, run, run, run. This thing is so scary. Your big evil frog. Okay, I'm up here, I'm up here. I need to use something like this rare stone talus hammer. Does this hurt you? Oh, it does. Whoa! Come back down, come back down. Okay, come on, go again, go again. Really just try to bring it to him, he does not like that. Oh no, get up quick, Link, come on. And boom, got you good there. Let's run back over, come on, I gotta get back on top. Gotta get back on top. We don't have much time here, this music's so scary. Uh. Come on, got it, got it, got it. Ooh, that's broken, just a few more. Just a few more. No, not like that. Ah! Ooh, that was scary too. Luckily, I sort of survived it pretty well. Didn't do too much damage. What is that? No, you're not gonna eat me up! I'm not gonna be your lunch! Get out of here! Okay, not good. Uh, I wonder if I could have thrown something in his mouth there. Probably. Okay, we're just gonna get back up here and I'm just going to try to break some more of these because that seems to be the secret. Come on, got it, and then one more over this way. Boom, boom, gotcha! Is that enough to defeat the scourge of the depths? I believe it is. That was wild! Oh man, and what do we get here? Um, well first off, I gotta clear up my thing. So I'll do this real fast. So this is a frox fang. Whoa. And anything else to picture here? I don't believe so. So, we got the large crystallized charge, the frox fang, a giant ore crunching frox fang. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power, or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Or we also get the frox fingernail, a flat cracked fingernail. Attach it to an arrow to increase its attack power, or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Crazy, I just can't believe what we just experienced. Um, With that guy knocked out, where do we go from here? I guess there's something way over there. It looks like it might just be another area where I can build vehicles. Hard to tell. Yeah, I don't think I wanna get too distracted going that way. Um, but there's no sign of a light route over here. Maybe a chance to uh, throw up one of those. Didn't really go as far as I needed to. Ugh, gross. Here, I will shoot one with an arrow. Just way over there. Still not giving me too much context on what's over this way. But it seems like a wall, so sort of running into that situation again. Where I don't know if the entire map is actually possible to sort of fill out. Like maybe there will always be a little bit of mystery to it. There'll always be a little uh, sort of shadowed edges. Okay, get over here, do the same thing. Whoa. It's at least another big tree over there. I'm still blown away by the Frox battle. <laughs> still a little speechless from that experience. Okay. Whoa. Got a whole collection of enemies over here. Let's go ahead and launch another one. Just so I can see. What are they guarding? Looks like they just have an outpost. Nothing too crazy over there. I mean, before we saw one, but now I, I can't really seem to find any more light routes. So, definitely didn't take like the best possible path here. It's okay. 
I see them over there, but besides a bunch, whoa, what is this? Okay, we might have found something cool over here. Let's grab all of this. Got it, almost at 300 po now, exciting. There's so much more over there, so once again, launch some more. Whoa, okay. Uh, we are finding the entryway to something cool over this way, for sure. And there's some like, bright bloom seeds already sort of guiding us over there. And what's that? That is definitely another one, another light route. So, I wonder if this is the entrance to something greater. The Grove of Spirits. Man, everything about this is so cool yet so creepy. Our Boca Bow is da badly damaged. I'll grab some more of these. Oh, hey! Let's just leave them alone. I don't wanna deal with it if I don't have to. I'm tossing this. Making it a little bit brighter as we get closer to it. I knew you were gonna be the one. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, see, this is where it gets a little risky, but I think I can fly a pretty large distance over this, but it's still so far away. The, the element of depth in the depths is hard to really get a grasp of. Like we're passing stuff here for sure. Yeah, Um. we're like on a paved path here. Wow. I saw some more Poe over there I wanna get to. I'm getting closer to 300 of it. Just wanna grab as much as I can. I don't know how much farther we'll go after this. Cause it seems like it just keeps going and going and going forever, so. We'll just have to wait and see. And it feels like, you know, we traveled this a lot faster than we travel like, you know, from here to here would have taken me a lot longer on the overworld. I don't know if it's because the area is actually smaller and it's just like an illusion. What is down there? Am I falling right now? Oh, I'm falling right now. Uh, oh, I fell. Uh, I can't see what's happening. This is a bad idea. Um, where am I? I'm just in a big hole. Uh-oh, uh, should I get the climbing gear on? I suppose I should. Should make it a little bit easier. Maybe not perfectly easy, so let's be careful. Guess I should have climbed from that side. Come on, ready, and... A little bit closer and jump. Got it. I just want to get to this last light route at the least. And whoa, that's a different kind of statue. Before it was like those more like mole looking guys. This one has a sword. Can I get a picture of that? I mean, I could, it just wouldn't really count for anything. And we're almost at this light route. So that has me real curious. Maybe there's two temples down here or something. Okay, I'm going up here. I'm the stamina restore and then we'll get the climbing. We finally made it. Ooh, this one was tough. Tough to get to this for sure, but we're at the Korodot light route. And what is that over there? It's another one of the sword holder ones. All right, let's activate the Korodot light route. And this is, like I said before, like I think our sixth one. That's gonna clear out a lot of the map. But I'm really curious about that structure in the distance. It might just be, you know, a different sort of milestone in the map, but we might as well go check it out. Okay, there we go. And right over here. There's like a whole railway system under us, I think. Whoa, okay. Luckily we didn't lose any health from the light route, or from the, the gloom to begin with. So what's the deal with all of this? Yeah, there is a railway under us. It's more of an opportunity to get around. But I'm not even going, the, like there's more behind me. Way more behind me. This is just like a little taste compared to that. 
Uh, the concern though is, can I even get? This is gonna take me a second, won't it? Uh, I don't see an alternative, so I'm just gonna try to climb up this thing. Yeah, I think we'll make it. And on top of that, we do have some stamina food, so I think with that combined, I might be able to make it work. We'll see. Should definitely get some more stamina upgrades soon, but I'll need more shrines for that, so it's something we're working on. We haven't really checked. I know that there's these little X mark the spots in the depth. We actually haven't um, opened up an area or lit up an area that would have one now. Okay, I think we'll just make it on our own. We won't need the food just yet, but ready. Let's find out. Got it, cool. We're up to whatever this is, and honestly, doesn't seem like there's too much here just yet. Let's try to climb up the staircase over here. Got it. Over this way. And I will just try to climb up this part. Whoa, at least a bunch of gloom. And oh, hey, get out of here. Oh, I blocked that one sort of accidentally, but it worked. What else do we have around here? I mean, besides that, it just seems to be a straight up wall. Uh, so I'll grab some extra Poe and we'll continue our ascent. We're over 300 now, so, oh wait, there's a light route. Is that the one we just got? Yeah, that's the one we just got, okay. I thought it was a different one for some reason. Uh, I'll grab all those goodies and we're heading back up. I mean, at least we'll be really high up. So maybe from here it'll be easier to see exactly where we can go. We can make a glider. It really wants us to make a glider, so I guess I'll do that. But to where? I think, I mean, what I'm really curious about is right down that way. Maybe I should save real fast. We'll save, we'll hop down there, and then I'll see if it's maybe just better to uh, be up here. I mean, I definitely wanna wrap things up soon. If we could find one more light route, I'd be really happy with that, because it seems like, at the least, this is where the one minecart section ends, and then there's more over there. And that's really cool. Even though it seems like they want me to go that way, it's really just all about like, where's the starting point? It, now it feels like I'm going backwards somewhere, you know? Uh, and that's really weird. Hmm. I mean, obviously if we keep searching this, hopefully we'll find that temple eventually, but right now I just wanna put this here. I want to go get some kind of propulsion on it. A rocket would be fun, so I might grab a rocket and we'll get going. <laughs> here we go. All right, uh, so get back over here. I guess I should also get a headlight on it, but might be too late for that. I might just wanna go. Um, and I guess we could, one thing we could also do real quick, if I get a giant bright bloom seed, just to make this a little bit more convenient for me when we're in the super, super dark areas, get the giant one, hold it, drop it, switch to this, combine it with my shield, now when we leave, uh, I don't think it's working. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not on right now, I don't think. Okay, we got a pit stop over here. That's cool. This is the Hylia Canyon mine, and we're still going. I'm scared. Uh, I can't see anything, we're moving too fast. I mean, we're gonna run out of speed. Uh-oh. Uh, fun's over. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> we're going backwards. I should've thought this through some more. Um, because I think we're gonna be stuck right here. I don't think we'll make it back up. Okay, here's my chance to hop off. I guess we would've made it most of the way back up. Almost perfectly, actually, that's crazy. We'll go back down. It might, so I'm just gonna push it over there like that. No! Okay, it's not moving, <laughs> that's fine. So this is the Holly Canyon Mine. So maybe this is actually a good place to just sort of take a look around. We've got another treasure chest in here, which is cool. This one has, hopefully another big charge. The miner's trousers, whoa! The bioluminescent lamps on these trousers shed light on where you step. They come in handy when walking in darkness. Whoa, look at these, they're so fancy too. I like them. That's so cool, so it'll make it a little bit brighter as we move around. I'll need to attach a bright bloom seed that I forgot to eliminate on me. Is there more to this place, or was that it? Seemingly, that's it? Unless I want to find, you know, uh, I guess just random things, but uh, whoa, that's a huge collection of, wait a minute, there's gotta be more stuff back there. Whoa, nope, that was it. 
It is a huge cluster of Zonite. More than I think I'll ever need. Who knows? Going back up. I just wanna see what's at the end of this railway, if not anything else at this point. I'm like so, so curious. So back over here. I need to get over there. Maybe I can, oh, I thought that was more of a ledge than it is. Ooh, there, there's a ledge I need to be on, right here. We go up again. And if I could just ride that minecart to wherever it's gonna lead, that'd be great. Um, I need to go up again. <laughs> we really went far down. It's always crazy when the depths go deeper, right? They really go deeper. Okay, we're up here. That's enough that I can just go like this and continue on with our journey. So what I wanna do for this one is Get the Ultra Hand, grab this, put the battery on somewhere, to the side is fine. And then I guess a rocket. I really gotta make the rocket count. So I guess we will um, do this, get it on there. I don't think I want a second rocket. I think a second rocket's asking for trouble. I wonder if I can grab it, bring it closer to me. Hit. Grab, grab, no, Cody White. Ah, come on, are you serious right now? What? No, okay. This is just where we need to get it back on the tracks. Get it back on the tracks. Get back on top of it if we can, and then just get a fan on it. If we can spawn in a fan, that'd be fantastic. Fantastic, I'm so funny today. Uh, Come on, get it over here, attach it like this. Hey, we're not reinventing the wheel with this one, but it should get us through. Slowly but surely. It, it's, wait, is that, that's a new one. Is it? No, it's not, it's the same one we got. This has gotta lead to another one. Like it has to. Oh, you know what, let's throw another break one. Not a bomb flower, break one. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely the one we got before. Then another statue, once again leading away from where we're going, which is fine for now. And there's another one? This one's all twisted, so who knows where that goes. I mean, it looks like it's caved in, so I guess we'll never know. So what's the deal with all this? Is this a dead end? Could we have gone in here from somewhere else? Is that the idea? Oh, okay. I get it now. So we've gone here before. Well, we, we could have gone here before. I see. I mean, I would hope for some kind of light route around here to like mark that, but who knows? Here, let me actually get through. Thank you. Exit. Bring me up. Right from where we, we were before. There's gotta be a light route around here, you would think, right? But no, I think it's just that one off there. So that's really the edge of it. Obviously there's some more to find. Like maybe I could go back to this one. Leave that pin, go over here. I think there was one more we could find around here, but very odd for sure, very peculiar, the way we can explore this and there's just different ways to dip in. That was still fun to look around on and I found those really cool pants. There should be one more light route to our left that I would like to find at the least. Right over there. That shouldn't be too hard to get to, right? I'd imagine. And then also, this. The Bargainer statue. That's off in the same direction. So, we haven't quite found the Bargainer statue, right? I do see multiple light routes over here now, so this is where we can really pick up some pace. Which, the more I say, like, you know, I should be done soon, and then I keep exploring because it's a lot of fun to explore. I don't think I need to take on another um, big bad guy if I don't need to. Okay, this is just a Traveler Sphere. I'm definitely gonna ignore it for now, just because of not anything else, it just takes a lot of time. We are still getting a lot closer. Is this just a rock up here? Yeah, it's just a rock up here. Uh, can't really reverse it, but... Oh, here we go. You get out of here, you knock him off. Oh no. Okay. Dealing with you over there maybe, or not. Jeez, there's a lot going on over here. This actually might be more complicated than I anticipated. It's over there. 
So if I could just ignore you all, I'd be happy. But I don't see that happening. Okay, okay, they really, really wanna go. And I can't go that way. Oh no, they can run over it no problem. Hardly fair. But I'll do that. Ooh. Can I steal one of the horses? That'd be really useful right now, actually. Come on. I need to change bows, because that the one broke. Oh, almost. Come on. Do you mind? Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Let me jump on. Mount. Here we go. Here we go. It's not going to be easy to ride this thing. Come on. Go, go, go. Soothe it. I don't know if we can make this thing happy. Could we? I, I think that we've tried bringing one of these to a stable in Breath of the Wild, and it did not work. Um, is there a wall in front of me? I thought that was about to walk off a cliff there. I got so scared. Um, that was really nice though. That was actually really convenient. Cause now I'm at this light route where we can see there's still so many more light routes left to find. Come on, Tulin, help me get over here. So that we can activate the net to net light route. Cool. So there's that done. So I don't know really how much more we can do in today's episode. I mean, I, I, I found a good amount of it, for sure. But that should clear up a little bit more on the map. And I do see another, every time I see them in the distance, I'm like, oh, let's just do one more. Let's just do one more, we can do it. Uh, but with this one, clears up a lot. I mean, we gotta be getting close to all of it, in this area at the least. Pull up the map. Cause I think we reached the edge there, but I don't know. With all of this that there could be, I think that's where we leave it. There are still some unanswered questions at the depths, like what's going on with the bargainer statue and probably many, many other things. But I think for right now, we did a good job exploring. We ran into that big, scary, uh, was it the Primox or whatever? Um, we found some of the monster parts for it. That was such a crazy fight and such a crazy thing to just stumble upon. It was way down here, right? No, no, no. I mean, it would be around too, we just gotta, by type. I wonder if it'd be really powerful. I don't think so. So by type, where are all the monster parts? I forget what it's called, but you know what I mean? The big frog thing, it was a crazy fight. It was really cool. I cannot find its parts anymore. Um, was this it? Yeah, the frocks. Okay, so that's really cool. Let's go to the map. I wanna go back to Lookout Landing, where I can at the least see if I can't cash in this POW. Okay, we're back here at Lookout Landing, and you are who I want to talk to. Maybe you are the one who told me about the other ones. Um, you stand, who you who stand here before me, offer a pose that I may return them to them to the afterlife. Uh, the brethren location. Uh, offer a hundred pose to me. If you do, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. That's what that was. I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. So we've had one there. And that was one way over there. Go to that location indicated on your map. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of this land. Offer well, pose. So I guess we could get some other things to the dark clumps. Um, the dark tunic, I really want, we have enough for it. So a tunic obtained by offering pose to a strange statue. It's a, a spurious replica of the green outfit once worn by a legendary hero. Wow, I want this for sure. Cool, I've, I've returned the lost spirits to the afterlife. Um, so we can't get any more of that, but we could. What's the dark clump do again? Unusual substance, it's cold to the touch and it seems as tough, or as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. You use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Whoa, see so yeah, if I really didn't want to be bothered by the gloom as much. This other stuff, I don't really need as much. We can just find them all over the place. Um, I have a decent chunk of them, so. If I had, a, I had four more, I could have a hundred and I could find another location on them. But we'll sort of look around for them a little bit more later on. I had a lot of fun exploring the depths in today's episode. There's still plenty more left to do on that front. We'll be returning to it every few episodes. But I think next time, maybe we'll continue with looking for geoglyphs because that's also something I need to do a lot more of. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.